Hello there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be solving a really nice exponential equation. So we are given that 2 minus root 3 to the x power plus 2 plus root 3 to the x power equals 4. And as you probably already guessed, we're going to use the substitution method in order to solve this for x. But before we do that, notice that whenever we have a product of two numbers like a and b, and the product equals 1, we can go ahead and say that they are reciprocals. So a equals 1 over b. So keep this in mind. We're going to use this. So the thing is, once we go ahead and take 2 minus root 3 and multiply it by 2 plus root 3, we're going to get 1. Because 2 minus root 3 times 2 plus root 3 is equal to 4, which is 2 squared minus 3, which is root 3 squared, which equals 1. So the product of these two numbers is 1, so I can say that 2 minus root 3 is the reciprocal of 2 plus root 3, or 2 minus root 3 is equal to 1 over 2 plus root 3. Now, if you go ahead and raise both sides to the x power, we can go ahead and say that 2 minus root 3 to the x power is equal to 1 over 2 plus root 3 to the x power, which means that they are reciprocals. So that means that if I go ahead and replace this one with something like t, this one is going to be 1 over t, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say that t equals 2 minus root 3 to the x power. This means that we will have t plus 1 over t equals 4. Now, in order to solve this for t, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by t. So we're going to get t squared plus 1 equals 4t. If you subtract 4t from both sides, we get t squared minus 4t plus 1 equals 0. By using the quadratic formula, we're going to get t equals 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 minus 4, all divided by 2, which simplifies to 4 plus or minus root 12 divided by 2, which simplifies to 4 plus or minus 2 times root 3, because root 12 is 2 times root 3, now, we can simplify this even more, and we can say that t equals 2 plus or minus root 3. So, if t equals 2 plus root 3, then we will have 2 minus root 3 to the x power equals 2 plus root 3. And if t equals 2 minus root 3, we're going to have 2 minus root 3 to the x power equals 2 minus root 3. Obviously, from the second case, we're going to get x equals 1. But in the first one, we don't know the value of x. So let's go ahead and solve that. So we have 2 minus root 3 to the x power equals 2 plus root 3. But remember that 2 plus root 3 and 2 minus root 3 are reciprocals. So I can go in and say that 2 minus root 3 to the x power equals 1 over 2 minus root 3, right? And then if we cross and multiply, we're going to get 2 minus root 3 to the power of x plus 1 equals 1. And since the base is not equal to 1, the power should be 0. So that means that x plus 1 equals 0, which means x equals negative 1. Great, so we have two solutions, negative 1 and positive 1, and this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and I'll see you later.